Oh, 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 oh. We almost had our first injury. Jimmy's telling me to put me We took a self-drive scenic canal cruise along the Canal du Midi in the south of France with La Boat. Today, we're taking you on a journey from Toulouse, where we transferred to Homps and spent seven days in the south of France cruising to Castle Naudry. Get ready to see the stunning landscapes, ancient villages, and historic landmarks along this famous UNESCO World Heritage Site. The main city to fly into for a Canal du Midi cruise is Toulouse, where the canal begins. And we met my brother and sister-in-law at the airport, where Le Boat was waiting to transfer us to Homs, which takes about 90 minutes. But before leaving, make sure to check out the Canal du Midi. It begins in Toulouse and runs all the way to the Mediterranean Sea for 250 kilometers. This major feat of engineering was built from 1666 to 1681, and for centuries it was an important mode of transportation. But with the invention of the railway, it declined, and today, leisure cruises have taken over. And the best way to see it is on your own barge. We have arrived in Om here in the south of France on the Canal du Midi for our the boat trip. It's such a charming town. You definitely want to get here early and enjoy a night out for dinner. There's a grocery store where you can pick up your supplies. There's plenty of cafes where you can have a drink. And it's just this charming village. We've stocked up on our groceries and we're getting ready to head out. And right behind me is our boat. This time we're going on a Vision SL. I'm going to take you on a tour to see what it's like. Let's go inside and see what this is like. So this is the inside of the Vision 3. All of the, ba all of the bedrooms are all in one place with the front cabin hanging out here. Oh, this is very pleasant. So this is where we'll be hanging out for the night. We have a full fridge kitchen. We got the grocery pack here. So this is a, they gave us this little starter kit. Let's take a look at the bedrooms. Okay, there's plenty of space on the bedrooms here. So this is a different setup than the Horizon. All of the bedrooms are all the same. So you're not fighting over different sizes. And it's a very nice bathroom. Getting our orientation, getting the boat all ready for you. Head out on the Canal de Midi. It's going to be fun. Even if you don't have any boating experience, don't worry. The Le Boat staff goes through the entire boat with you before departure and shows you how to drive it. There are speed limiters on the boat and thrusters to help you navigate. While we didn't find the Vision boats as easy to handle as the Premier Horizon boats, it still was not too difficult to park and steer as long as you gave plenty of time for the boat to turn and anticipate the route that you need to take ahead of time. The Vision boats are considered Comfort Plus boats, and after testing both boats, we would choose the Horizon boats. The Horizons are the Premier boats and we like the layout much better. Plus, they are newer and easier to navigate. You can check out our Rideau Canal Cruise for a tour of the Horizon Line. Something to be prepared for on the Canal de Midi are the very low bridges. We were surprised to find that we couldn't keep our canopy up to protect from the harsh south of France sun, as every few hundred meters we had to take it down to go under the ancient bridges. So make sure to pack a hat, plenty of sunscreen, and stock up on water. Most bridges were so low we had to duck our heads and make sure to warn all passengers to do the same or there would be some serious injuries. Get down. <laughs> we almost had our first injury. <laughs> that is crazy, they're so low. I can't believe you got a duck to go under the bridges. We're ducking. Woohoo! From Oms to Castle Naudry, we navigated through 45 different locks. 
We also navigated under almost as many bridges of different sizes and heights, over aqueducts, and through both narrow and wide channels, creating a unique adventure on the water. Is it nerve-wracking, Dave, or are you pretty calm? Uh, it's a little nerve-wracking, I gotta say. The, the canal's pretty narrow, and those bridges, man, they are, uh, they're, the first two are pretty scary. Not too bad now, once you get the hang of the boat. Now we're going over a bridge. Yeah, that's crazy. Working the locks on the Canal de Midi is quite the adventure. We recommend at least four people to take a La Boat vacation on this canal. So when you're doing the Canal de Midi, one person has to get off the boat and get to the top, and then the people on the boat throw you the rope. Now I'm holding it up here as we go up. Whenever you come up to a lock, one person has to get off the boat to catch the ropes from the deck and loop it around the cleats at the top of the dock. Then there is one person at the front and one person at the back to hold the boat in place as the water rushes in. And of course, the fourth person is the captain who does a lot of the work navigating through the locks. As soon as the boat is level with the dock, you can get back on and continue on to the next lock. Woo! I'm on the rope! One thing you really need on the Canal du Midi are gloves. The ropes are really rough and hurt your hands and they flush the toilet water into the Canal du Midi so you really don't want to walk, touch the water with your hands if you don't have to. I wash them on a regular basis as it is, but the gloves come in very handy. So on this portion of the Canal du Midi, we take care of our own locks. There's a set of four locks here and they're all about a kilometer apart. So you just get on your bike, la la, and you ride up. And then we have this little booth that we actually take care of the locks ourselves. So I just rode up here. When I see the boat coming, I'm going to press the button to uh, start opening the locks. So they have a lot of trust and faith in people, I have to say. So now all I have to do is press the green cycle and it does all the work for me. Let's go. So the bike really came in handy on this little boat on the Canal de Midi uh, because there are a lot of locks where you have to get off the boat and I just found that it was easier sometimes to ride in between the locks if they were only a kilometer or two apart. So I highly recommend it. There's some hiking trails and a lot of the towns are actually a couple kilometers away. So it does help to rent the bikes. Welcome to the beautiful city of Carcassonne. So we're here at the entrance of Carcassonne medieval city. Wow, look at that behind me. And that's just a little bit of it. One of the best stops on the Canal de Midi is the medieval city of Carcassonne, with its iconic castle standing at its centerpiece. We suggest parking here for two nights as it truly is a highlight of the trip between Alms and Castle Naudry. The main attraction is the Castle of Carcassonne, and we took a day tour of it to explore the outer defensive walls and the interior of the castle. So we're inside the castle now, which is amazing. You come up upon the castle walls and what you see is just amazing. It opens up in front of you. You see the church, you see the steeples, and you see the guard towers. It's incredible to think how this was built over centuries. Carcassonne dates back to the first century as a Roman military fortress with the castle walls being built in the 13th century. It was in the 19th century that the castle was restored to its original glory. What is really cool is that the ramparts are all around the city. And when you come up here, you can go into the castle and that's what we're doing now. Check this out. So I would say it's definitely worth it to uh, 
come in and do the tour of the castle, but also get a look at the museum for all the artifacts that they found in and around this area. It's very interesting to see um, how everything was built from the Roman times up into uh, the further times down the road. It really is uh, pretty amazing to see. It's very well preserved. So we're here in the church of St. Nazir and Cels, and it's very impressive because one side of it was built by the Romans and the other side is in a Gothic style. And what makes it really cool is that the stained glass windows in here are from the 13th and 14th century, the original stained glass windows. Really impressive. Within the old city walls, you'll find shops, cafes, and boutiques lining the ancient pass. Plus, there's a luxury hotel if you are looking to get off the boat for the night, or you can just have some lunch there if you want as well. And that was the city of Carcassonne. Welcome to Trebs. Another excellent stop for the night is Trebs. This lovely village has walking paths, an olive producer, and plenty of places to eat. But the picturesque harbour is the perfect spot to enjoy the onboard barbecue. Dinner time! Cheers! Busy leaving Trebs. This is one of the busiest stops. There's lots of tight places, but Dave handled it like a pro. There are plenty of places to moor for the night if you don't make it to any of the other villages or towns. And with a full kitchen and barbecue, you're self-sufficient. Dinner time on the boat. Cheers! But the final town we're going to highlight is Castle Naudry. This is a place where we spent two nights and you can easily do a day trip here to Toulouse by catching the train. Look at this beautiful harbour we are coming into here in Castle Naudry. Nice spot to spend a day. Castle Naudry was the final stop on our trip along the Canal de Midi and besides the Le Boat offices at Omps and Trebs, there is one here as well. We spent two nights here to explore the medieval town while Jim and Janice went into Toulouse for the day by train. Toulouse is a very walkable city and you can see many of the sights in a day by just walking around the downtown area. I love this main capital square here. During the day they have a great, huge market if you want to do some shopping. We recommend visiting Toulouse before your trip to settle into the French way of life and soak up the atmosphere. It's a city that requires at least two days. And if you want to stock up on supplies, you can do some shopping here or wait until you get to Omps or your starting destination. Toulouse is located on the Garonne River and you must come down to the Place de la Garade to see the Pont Neuf and all of the sites along the river. We stayed at the Hotel Grand Balcon, located just steps away from the city square. It's a chic boutique hotel and a great place to relax before your boat trip down the Canal du Midi. We have an entire video dedicated to the best things to do in Toulouse, so make sure to click on the links in the description to see more if you're planning on a few days there. Back in Castle Naudry, there are enough activities to keep you busy for at least a day or two as well. There are plenty of restaurants lining the canal, so make sure to get out and explore. Also make sure to take a stroll through the town to see its historic buildings, city square, cathedrals, and ancient windmill at the top of the town. It's then time to check out and gather up your things for your transfer back to Toulouse. So when you return your boat here from the boat, basically what you do is uh, you give it a, a clean, unless you have the actual cleaning service where they'll do a little bit more. You don't have to do a super clean, but just so that it's uh, presentable. And then you go into the office, office, drop off your bag. They'll come out with a technician, run through the boat, and then you're good to go. And that's the end 
of our Le Beau tour here on the Canal du Midi, and we are on the way to the Toulouse airport in our sweet ride with the executive road lines. Book them, baby. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and click on that bell for notifications because we put out new travel videos every week.